Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to the Garble Space Program. Kerbin is doomed. I am the communist penguin, and um, yeah, we're launching rockets and stuff. Um, what episode is this? I think it's like episode 4. It's probably the first episode we're doing something productive. Although, we did uh, key things set like last time, so that's probably pretty good, but anyway. Um, I, as you can see, have a fairly big launch stage here. Uh, we are launching a Keyvane Miner, the jig thing, to the moon, for the moon, which is going to be the first part of our moon base. Sounds weird. Moon base. Moon base. Okay, it's called moon base from now on. <laughs> um, this is in full time time acceleration at the moment, so um, it's, it should only take a few minutes to get into orbit. I've got my new computer now, so I can uh, do launches much quicker than I used to be able to do them. So to do a gravity turn. It's a very uh, aggressive aggressive uh, ascent, I guess. Um, I timed it. Well, I say I timed it. I I got lucky that the the moon was in the right position, you know, to burn to it from when I launched. So I just burnt pretty much all the way there. But um, yeah, we're using KW Rocketry for the three meter parts and the um, engine. I think that's the biggest engine from KW. I have got Nova Punch, which gives you five meter parts as well. But I wanted to. I didn't really want to use them if I could help it because they're a bit annoying. They haven't got any of the fancy inter stages. So um, we we're going to ditch the stage in a minute. So um, there we go. Ah, uh, this is the. Um, I think this is the most efficient of the three meter engines from KW Rocketry. But yeah, this it was planned to take us into orbit. But it got us much further. Yeah, you can see the moon's coming over the horizon there. I'm pointing my mouse there. The Kerbal's surprisingly not scared. He should be scared because um, there's no there's no safety on this. If this was to crash, then and something to go wrong, and he was to fall to Kerbin, then there's no parachutes. So <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess no one no one's told him that. <laughs> but um. So uh, yeah, the, the idea of the moon base is um, well, because you know, the idea of the series is that Kerbin is doomed. There is um, a crazy asteroid or something that's going to hit Kerbin in a year time, years time or something like that. Maybe we don't know for for sure how long it's going to take, but it's about a year. And um, yeah, so we have to we're trying to get as many Kerbals off of Kerbin as possible. Now m moon base, um, well it. it it's easy to get to, but the problem is, if the asteroid were to hit and like, oh, hang on a sec, yeah, yeah, the, you see the fairings chests in there. They're um, a bit glitchy. Normally they just fire off, but they they haven't really got correctly modelled uh, hitboxes, which is kind of good, I guess, because otherwise that would have exploded. But anyway, so yeah, um, the only problem with making the moon base if the Kerbin's going to get hit by a giant asteroid is that chunk, you know, bits could go flying off and hit the moon, and that's probably dangerous. But um, the reason we want to build a moon base is because we can build a launch pad there, and it's much easier to get things into orbit from the moon than it is through from Kerbin, you know, for obvious reasons, because there's no atmosphere and there's less gravity and all that stuff. And also, if we're if we're trying to go interstellar, um, we're, all, we're already, you know, halfway there. <laughs> Although, I guess we don't get the, the advantage of the Hoffman... Hoff, is it Hoffman? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Basically, you know, if you're lower down in your orbit, you can, um, you uh, get more energy out of, I don't even know. But it, it, it's easier to do, more efficient to do transfers. You know, I just cut out some of the um, warping there. I tend to get very nervous when I'm warping. I only uh, go at, like, quite slowly. Because if I go fast, then I always I always miss. But here, I'm, I'm uh, adjusting my orbit so I pass over the landing site. So um, we can't just land anywhere, we've got to land where there's Keithane and ore, so we can, you know, we can have our, all our moon base parts, you know, together. So um, I did a bit of scanning and I found a place uh, where there was Keithane and ore, so that's good. And there's quite a lot of Keithane ore, so yeah. We're going to come in for a, um, a uh, capture, still using this engine here. We were supposed to have dropped this engine by now, but I did some miscalculations and it turns out we have plenty of fuel. So, um, also, you can't, I don't know if you can tell at the moment, but the, uh, I forgot to put the decoupler in for, um, between, I'm pointing the screen, you can't see, but between the, the orbital stage and the sort of transfer stage, or deal, 
bit orbital, I don't know, the capture stage. So I had to pump the fuel from that capture stage into the main, main tank, into the orbital. You know what I mean, into the bottom tank. So yeah, I was just moving, you see those uh, drills there? I, I had them hidden underneath the rocket so they could fit in the fairing. And now they like, come out, look pretty great. And I also had a, a light as well, which was also folded in. So um, this is not going to be the most efficient of landings. But um, I was tired at this point, and KSP crashed many times, which you, you don't have. You probably you haven't noticed, but it, I have had to do this many times. This process. So um, yeah, I was just like, screw it. We're gonna we're gonna go. <laughs> we're just gonna go right over it and just stop, basically, because we've got we've still got our crazy orbital engine or whatever. So we'll have plenty of fuel, you know, plenty plenty of power to do. We might as well just burn right over the landing site. So I'm going to time warp so I'm directly over it and then cut all horizontal velocity and then just fall on it. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Um, I think we're in uh, two times time acceleration at the moment. Like in you know, post-recording time acceleration. But um, so yeah, it's quite good actually because the um, the if, if I had ditched that stage, then the thing that's supposed to um, get us captured would have has really bad deal... deal um, that would be though know, it has really bad thrust to weight ratio, so we were <laughs> I probably would, I probably wouldn't be able to do this landing. But yeah, so um we're gonna have to put many things on the moon. So this is the first of a few. So this is the um mining bit. We're gonna need obviously just the orbiting here. Uh we're gonna need a conversion bit, although this has a small converter on it, but we're gonna need something bigger. We're gonna need a smelter, we're gonna need which smelts ore into um, metal. We also need a drill, uh, an ore drill to drill ore, because this is just key thing, this just gets us the fuel. Um, we're going to need a, some, a rocket part thing, I'm not sure what it does, but it, it turns metal into rocket parts so we can build rockets. We need the launch pad to launch rockets, I'm going to need some crazy habitation modules to put loads of kerbals down for, for stuff, basically. Although we don't have to fly all of it out there, because what we can do, we can fly our launch pad out there and then use that to build some of the things we need on the moon, which is pretty good. So you see there's a um, one, there's like a big fuel tank for Keithane, the big, the sort of central part of the payload, if you can see which part's the payload. We're in map view at the moment, but um, we should come out in a second. There, there you go, you see the bit, we see that you've got the drills on the side, which just folds out from underneath, and you've got the central Keithane tank. And then on top of that is a cupola where we've got our pilot. And on top of that we've got a sky crane. Now um, we, should, we were originally going to use the sky crane by now. But we haven't... But if you, a sky crane is just the fuel tank on top of the engines. It's called a crane because it's like lift pulling it from the top. So yeah. Um, we couldn't actually get an actual crane on the moon for obvious reasons. So we built a rocket crane. But um, yeah we can't use the... Um, well, we've still got fuel in that main engine, so we might as well use it. Also, it turns out that the um, the Sky Crane has a really bad thrust rate ratio. It's about 1.3 or something, which means it can only just hop. Well, it can hover. It, it could hover over the moon, and it could go up very slowly, but it's not. It's not going to be enough to slow us down. You know, far. Cause we need to slow down quite far because we're going about 100 something meters a second at the moment. I can't see. So we're going to use. The plan is we're going to use this engine. And then we're gonna drop it, and then we're gonna use our sky crane to slowly drop us to the ground. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully that, that that was the plan anyway. Um, you'll see what happens. Uh, I was I was really really tense when I was doing this because um, yeah, I hadn't had good experiences with the moon before or the moon recently anyway. The vertical velocity dropping. I, I haven't got much horizontal velocity. I did a good job of cancelling most of that out. So yeah, we're gonna just try and we've got, we're going up again actually. That's right. Then. Yeah, we're just trying to cut the horizontal velocity so we don't hit the ground sideways. So that's not a good idea. Because yeah, you, you, it doesn't matter how slow you, you're going down. But if you're going sideways, it's like 20 meters a second, then you fall over. Because 20 meters a second is really fast. It's like. 50 miles an hour or something, I don't know. It's, it's very fast. <laughs> very fast. So, um, yeah, when we get on the moon, we're going to use KAS to attack all the parts together. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, um... 
Xbox Switch engine up on that, so we, we, we flipped around a bit when I uh, dropped the stage, so that's not good. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to save it now. I thought I'd be able to quickly move it around. Um, quickly move around, it'd be very manoeuvrable once I did that, because, you know, less mass, but it turns out it, it, it's just spinning around. We're about, I can't see how fast it's about 10 meters a second. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I'm face desking at the moment uh, when I was recording this, but um, if you actually look at it though, what have I lost? I've lost a sky crane, which is fine because we've landed, and I've lost a drill, so I haven't actually really lost anything, you know, poor, I mean I've still got one drill, so I've still got, you know, what I need to get keep it, I've got the tank, I've got the, I've got the crew cabin, I've got the generator on the side that you can see, I got the convert on the side, which was just there as a counterbalance more than anything. So at the moment, I'm just like, yeah, I've, you know, <laughs> successful crash landing, if anything. Now anything else, I've got to try and get it back up. Oh, look! <laughs> Bit of a flip there. I mean, this is in, I think it's in two times speed or something, but still, <laughs> still quite entertaining to see it flip around. So I'm trying to use the drill here to, like, knock it over. Pushing it backwards and forwards. This took me a while. So there's, there's a little engine rolling down the hill there. <laughs> I'm just um, I'm locking the um, the gear thing so I can try and move different things. <laughs> this yeah, this took a while. Tony was I was saying yeah, we can use KAS, which is um, cobble attachment system. Which has got like um, it's got like it's got the one with the one with the winches in and stuff, but we're gonna use yeah. So we can you, you can get like, like you can get like ropes and fuel lines and stuff, so you can attach all the stuff together. Because you basically need that to for explanatory. So yeah, five minutes later and we've finally got it back up. So I just need to pop the drill back into play, pull pull the things back. So um. Yeah, we are actually in the right place, which is good. We're on the right at the edge of the of the t tile. I don't know if you, you've seen um, uh, what's it called? Keith A and next. So Keith A next factory. They got their hexagons. Oh, of course, you've seen it. You've seen me went in the map, but yeah. So there's all, there's Keith A and there's all in this section. So I'm, I'm this drill is only drilling for Keith A, but um. Yeah, I'll be able to put all drills in the same section, which is a good idea. Which is why I have to do the targeted landing, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know what it's called. That's just the the um, decoupler just exploded then, I think. See, so yeah, the, the lights are from the aviation lights mod, and they are really cool. Even, I don't use them for aviation, but you can just use them to look cool. So yeah, there we go. Um, we've landed our Keithane minor thing semi-successfully on the moon. Mission accomplished, I think. There we go. EVA, plant a flag. I haven't actually got a ladder on the side. Um, that wasn't actually lost in the crash. It just there wasn't in the f one in the first place because the drill was in the way anyway. But you know, they got a jetpack, so it's fine. So here we go. Planting flag. This is actually the first Kerbal on the moon, I guess. But I guess there would be um there would have been other Kerbals. It's just Yeah. I don't think if they were really going to the moon, the first thing they bring is just a crabby key they miner. But, you know, they wouldn't know those key things. Oh, they do know key things on the moon because of the scanning thing, but that's hardly the first thing I would have thought they'd sent there. Anyway, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, this is the Gomirus Penguin, and um, see, see you next time. <laughs>